Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the nth term and the tenth term of the sequence should. We have considered the sequence 2 over 5, 5 over 7, 8 over 9, 1, 14 over 13. The first step when considering a sequence is to check what kind of sequence we're working with. It could either be a linear pattern that means we have a common difference or a geometric pattern, which will give us a common ratio. So in this example, I have my T1, that's the first term. I have my T2, that's the second term. T3, the third. T4 and T5. If I check the value of T2 minus T1, I can see that that value is not equal to the value of T4 minus T3. If this was equal, this will have given me the common difference. That's for a linear pattern. The second check will be if I find the value of T2 divided by T1. That must be equal to the value of T5. That's the value of the term in front divided by the term behind and I can see that this is not equal. If this was equal, this will have given us a common ratio which will make it a geometric pattern. So the next alternative is to check if we have a similar pattern at the top and at the bottom. So a quick check is the common difference at the top which is D top I'm going to tag that as the top because I'm separating this sequence. That will be T2 minus T1 must be equal to T3 minus T2. And if we check what we have, we have at the top T2. That means I'm considering only the sequence at the top as shown. So that will give us T2, that's 5 minus t1 2 that will give me 3 the double check is t3 minus t2 t3 is 8 minus t2 5 which will also give me 3 so you can see that the common difference is the same which is 3 then the next step is to check the common difference at the bottom so i have d bottom that means i'm considering the sequence at the bottom as shown I have the same thing, T2 minus T1 must be equal to T3 minus T2. I can also use T5 minus T4. What you need to do for common difference is the term in front minus the term behind. So at the bottom, I have T2, that's 7, minus T1, 5. That will give me 2. And likewise, the double check is T3. 9 minus 7, which will also give me 2. So I have the same common difference at the top, that's 3, and then I have the same common difference at the bottom, that's 2. So using my formula for a linear pattern, I can either use Tn equals D times N plus C, or I use Tn equals a plus n minus 1 multiplied by the common difference. For this example, I'm going to be using the first formula. So therefore, I have two sets of Tn's. I have Tn for the top. So I have Tn top for the top will be d times n plus c. My d in this case is my common difference for the top that's 3 times n plus c. I need to find the value of c. The formula for finding c, c equals the first term minus the common difference. So if I have c equals t1 minus the common difference, that will be the first term. Remember, we're dealing with the terms at the top. The first term is 2 and the common difference is 3. So therefore c is negative 1. So therefore we write in my tn for the top. I have 
Therefore, the nth term for the top values will be 3 times n, 3n, plus c, that's minus 1. I'm going to keep that. So likewise, I'm going to find the tn for the value at the bottom. And t is another color. tn for the sequence at the bottom. I'm going to use the same formula, d times n plus c. And we've already found a common difference at the bottom to be 2. So I have 2 times n plus c. Like I did earlier, I need to find the value of c. c is the first term minus my common difference. The first term for the bottom sequence is 5. And the common difference is 2. So my c is 3. So rewriting, I have the, therefore, my tn for the bottom will be... 2 times n, that's 2n, plus c. c is 3. So now that I have my nth term for the top and bottom, I'm going to combine that. So I have, therefore, my tn, that's the first part of the question, my nth term will be the tn for the top over the tn for the bottom. Therefore, my tn for this number sequence or number pattern will be for the top I have 3n minus 1 divided by for the bottom 2n plus 3. So that's my nth term. To calculate the 10th term, that's the second part of the question, t10. I'm going to change that to t10 equals, already I have my tn equals 3n minus 1 divided by 2n plus 3. So every occurrence of n, I change that to 10. So it's going to be 3 times 10 minus 1 divided by 2 times 10 plus 3. And that will be 3 times 10, that's 30 minus 1 divided by 2 times 10, 20, minus or plus 3. So therefore, my t10 will be 30 minus 1, 29, divided by 20 plus 3, 23. Thanks for watching. Bye.